welcome to the garden. Today we're going to be identifying and pulling invasive garlic mustard. This can take over massive areas of trails and forests, outcompeting all the native plants. So we want to pull this out by the root before it finishes flowering at the end of May. It is edible and has a mild garlic flavor, although I don't find it very tasty. It was originally introduced as a culinary herb around 1860. The most distinctive feature about it are these leaves. You can see they have these little round teeth at the edge and these really complex veins all throughout. It kind of reminds me of stained glass. The lower leaves are heart shaped with a fairly round point and then as they grow they kind of get pointier at the top. They flower right up at the very top of the plant and these can be anywhere from just a few inches tall to a few feet tall. And you can see when they're young, they do have really fuzzy stems. But they do get smoother as they get larger. The leaves are smooth, so they don't have any fuzz. And the stems are round, with these little vertical grooves. This is a great example of what you'll find under the ground. So you want to try to get under that little S and try to pull out as much of that root as you can. Otherwise, they can just come back. And they do often break off at the root. I just get my shovel or a weeding tool, try to grab as much of that root as I can, get underneath it with the shovel, and then from there we should get most of the root. And these things are tough. They're really, really strong. And if you find they're breaking often, you can just start with the shovel and pull the whole thing out. And the easiest time to do this is actually after a good rain. That means the soil will be nice and soft and you should be able to pull them out a little bit easier. I do like to do this with my bare hands because gloves seem to just get in the way. They're a good deal taller than our native grasses and creeping Charlie. So early spring is really the time to pull them. Each individual flower has four bright white petals and they come in these compact clusters. And we want to get them before they produce these long skinny seed pods. These are just packed with seeds. So if you are picking them after they produce the pods, you want to be extra careful of how you dispose of them. And I'm not going to be composting them. There's just too much of a risk of them coming up in the garden. So we can throw them somewhere where they're not going to be a problem or in the fire pit. And if you're really worried about them, you can bag them up and throw them in the trash. We really want to expose these roots so that they can dry out. And this is all that's left of the ones that we pulled last week. Let's just do a taste test of the leaf here. You can just eat them raw if you like. You can see the underside of the leaf is fairly pale green, whereas the top is a nice dark green. And they do have a mild garlic flavor, but it's really not that great, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like them, but they are edible. So if you are into foraging wild greens, this is actually a really easy one to find and to eat. So I hope you keep an eye out for garlic mustard in your garden or the next time you're out in the park. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.